r slash airbnb hosts. JH Threekson says. I genuinely really believe we need to start being honest in our reviews for each other's sake. I have been having a lot of problem guests recently, ridiculous requests slash expectations, leaving the place filthy, had one that left peanut butter and jelly all over counters, and left entire load of laundry in the dryer, and I have come to the conclusion that we really just need to start being honest in our reviews of guests. As a host, there's a lot of pressure to leave that 5 star awesome guest, left place clean welcome any time review, but it's really just not cutting it for me anymore with my recent experiences, especially when guests can kind of just shit on your listing with no consequences. I mean really think about it, it probably depends on your listing slash area, but how often are you really gonna have repeat guests, I almost never do, so start being real in your reviews. When's the last time you saw a guest with a below 5 star rating? For me literally 2 times, now think about how often a host has a perfect 5 star rating, almost never. 36 in 36 says. A bad guest throws up on the carpet, and hides it under a pile of towels, leaves a gun in the room, bleeds through the sheets, smokes in the unit, turns full liter pop bottles on its side to run on hardwood floors, leaves drugs in the room, keeps all other guests awake all night, etc. All of these things have happened. I'm having a hard time with the left stuff in dryer as being a red flag for a guest. Matamaru says. Agreed. They paid dollar sign 250 in cleaning fees and even more to stay here, and had the audacity to leave a load of laundry in the dryer when doing the chores they paid for someone else to do. Do not trust this guest. Worst Casa Scenario says. Agree on the dryer. What's wrong with blood on the sheets? Admittedly, I may be little sensitive to this as a dad whose teenage daughter ruined a set of hotel sheets when she got her first real period. As a host, I've pretty much treated sheets as consumables with an average lifespan of 2 to 3 months. Eastern Astronomer 6 says. Who is putting the pressure on you? I've been leaving honest reviews since day 1. It's how the system was created. Lusty Riam 1 says. What the? Oh no they left clean stuff in the dryer, seriously? Ramundaway says. Yeah I don't understand this. Did Op expect the guest to fold and store sheets and towels? Ludicrous. Kid Sleepy says. Unless someone is outright amazing or a complete trash heap, I give a generic review to everyone. People are people, they vacation how they really live, I can't change their routines. I've only had a couple times out of over 440 reviews, where I actually had to say something slash would not accept as a guest again situation. This was for my own sanity, wasn't thinking about others, maybe this first had a reason to be unacceptable, who knows, but I hope other hosts took my warning review seriously. Ablee Incident 4284 says. Honest but realistic is appropriate. Renters pay a significant cleaning fee so the unit will be dirty, because they have paid to have it cleaned. Puntirius says. This goes both ways. Hosts are a lot more worried about reviews and they have a lot more to lose than most guests. Amperi32 says. This was my thought too, there's posts 4 times a day griping that guests didn't leave 5 stars and are too stupid to understand the 5 star system. Even those stating guests should be understanding then you get to read the ones from the host's perspective. I rarely see understanding or graciousness there. Most of the posts are can I, or how can I charge them more fees? Complaints about the silliest infractions. Like this one. SMDH. Alicat 777777 says. Left their own stuff in the dryer, or had you asked them to wash towels or sheets? It is not their job to wash the towels and sheets after their stay, if you charge a cleaning fee. r slash airbnb hosts. How did Therapelp says. Guest using place as a storage unit. Is this a thing now? 
My guest moved in all her belongings, I mean all furniture, etc. I know this, because she asked for a plumber to come in. The plumber told me. Apparently she's between homes and this is cheaper than a storage unit. I posted on a local forum and some people said, yeah, they've had it happen, and seemed to have no problem with it. Just, wow. Eastern Astronomer 6 says. What are you charging, that it's cheaper than a storage unit? Normal Basis 291 says. It sounds like a creative solution. If the space isn't being damaged I don't really see an issue. Heath N30 says. I had to bring some stuff with me to the Airbnb, after I sold my house, and before I closed on the new one. It wouldn't fit in my pod, I'm sure my hosts were wondering WTH, when they saw it on the ring camera. But I did move out, and into my own house. The Loverbuds says. This is a non-issue. Clearly it would be cheaper than putting stuff in storage, because they would still need to rent a place to stay. So, if the choice is between staying at a hotel, and paying for storage, and renting an airbnb and simply keeping their stuff with them, the latter is the way to go. Maybe this was following a divorce situation, or moving after a losing a child. The guest having their personal belongings with them might also have an emotional component that would be harder for an outsider, to get their head around. As long they left on time, didn't damage the place or break any rules, I see zero problem with this. Mundane Object 0701 says. I'd be worried about damage to floors or walls with moving furniture, but if all is okay in the end there's not a problem. Happy to help 210 says. I've done this when we, family of three, had to be out of old house and new house had two months before renovation finished. We stored things in the garage, but clothes, computer, basic stuff we used daily was all in house, as if we lived there. When new house was ready we moved all of our things out, and was as if we were never there. Amp7274 says. I had a ton of stuff with me, when I loved from NCOR, and lived in Airbnbs for 5 months. I did however tell all the hosts that was happening. Trumped again 2024 says. Hope she's not becoming a squatter. Portinkley 204 says. Half that is awesome. R slash Airbnb hosts. Patespin says. I'm so touched by a guest who recently became a host. I recently had a guest who is new to Airbnb. Her stay at ours was her second trip. She left overall 4 star and a few 3 stars including location, we are remote mountain cabins, accuracy, I've always got 5 stars, and cleanliness, humid smell from towels. The last one I can let go, it's 85% plus humidity on some days during rainy season here in Thailand. I wanted to reach out to her, and say hey airbnb rating I not the same as hotels and so on, but was too lazy to do it. After all she still gave 4 to 5 stars on other aspects. Fast forward a couple weeks, she messaged me, and said she recently became a host with her first guest. She had learned about airbnb rating system, and realized 3 stars is a major issue, and that was not her intention. She asked me, if there's a way for her to remove the review, and as I was trying to find out the answer, she did make a request to remove her review. What a lovely human being. Bless her I hope this story makes your day as it made mine. Most up 4339 says. As a host I wish Airbnb gave very clear explanation to guests on how the rating system works. I remember when I first used Uber, and didn't understand either, and gave 4 stars to several drivers before I learned, that 4 stars is a very bad review. I felt bad, when I learned as well. It's really frustrating, when you get a 4 star review, because guests don't fully appreciate, that this means this is a bad review. Break88 says. The rating system probably needs to be good, okay, and bad. The 5 star rating system is too ambiguous. Audine Sevalable 807 says. 
I think some people have the hotel star rating on their mind. 5 star equals Hilton. 3 star is traditional B&B etc. Also, with all the customer reviews for everything thing. People are fed up filling in ratings. And then there are Google ratings too. What a load of. Oh he are Gerald 22 says. My history on Airbnb. 4.94. 102 reviews. 1 out of every 20 guests that review, leaves a 4 star, greatest stay ever, highly recommend. Ben Texas says. For everyone saying 4 fifths is bad, how would you rate a good, but not great stay? Financial Lad 5324 says. This isn't due to guest ignorance this is how they designed it to work. The guests assume that 4 fifths is good because it is literally everywhere else not just hotels. It's intentionally done and works as they wanted it to. Senior Celery 9089 says. Commenting on I'm so touched by guest who recently became a host. Music Worldwide says. The rating system is terrible and useless. Fcress says. Lucy you, but, annoyingly some lady promised to request her review deleted, but never followed through. She left 4 stars, since I didn't have ACK, never advertised one. Then I did actually install one, yet she started stonewalling me. Dinosaur General says. I live in host in a high humidity place. My towels, and sheets slash covers etc, are dried in a chimerical dryer. But I store them stacked in plastic totes with lids with a dryer sheet. I make up sets, so I just grab a pre-packed tote 62L boxes are perfect for a full set of towels, one set of king sheets, 6X pillowcases, duvet cover, tea towels and there's still room for a few rolls of toilet paper and bin liners. Anything out of season I vacuum seal, with a dryer sheet, in a space saver. I label those, because 1x winter duvet, and 1x winter underlay is annoyingly similar when vacuumed. Schwelvis says. Need to touch Airbnb, and modify the rating system so it's relevant. Oh he are Gerald 22 says. Only one of 20 guests don't seem to understand. I have a sign to explain it. This isn't an Airbnb issue, it's an individual issue. Some people are just not going to learn, no matter what you try to explain to them. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.